All right, so now we're gonna talk about the spline command. So if I go to draw, I go down here, and I have two options for spline. One is a fit spline, and one is a control vertices spline. So kind of like we had um, for P edit. Um, so if I do a, kind of the this one, now it's actually gonna go through those corners, but it's not gonna necessarily give me that really kind of curvy shape that I got back with the, um, with the P line. So if I do a P line, close that off. Copy that. I'll do it again. All right, so I'm gonna take this one, turn it into a curve fit. Take that one, turn it into a spline fit. So now you'll see my spline fit that's my curvy fit now let's see what happens when I use the spline command so I'm going to use the, the fit curve option or actually I'll just do the, the control vertices let's do that first and I'll change that color to the second hand so we can see it so do 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 And you can see that those two came out pretty identical. The spline fit between these points and the control vertice spline. They came out right, right on top of each other, basically. So if, you're, if you want that spline control, it really doesn't matter which one you pick because either doing a polyline edit or polyline and then converting the spline uh, curve or using this one the control vertices gives you the same answer but if I wanted to do something kind of a little bit in between so I'm going to go to yellow and I pick this one now when I pick those points you can see it's actually goes through the corners I pick kind of like the fit curve but it doesn't do these really rounded um, kind of big curves so it gets pretty close here and here but when the things are closer together it keeps it a little bit a lot a lot flatter um, for the shape so that's the kind of the, the three main types of, of, of curves we can get um, to fit between things that there aren't arcs um, there. So, all right, Let me get rid of those. And because the, the control RC is basically like the P-line one, I'm not really gonna talk about it a whole lot. Um, so let's do the spline fit. This one does have a couple other things that are different. So make sure you hit enter to get out of it um, after you finish drawing it. If you hit escape, can do it. If you hit escape, the whole thing goes away. So as opposed to polyline when you're drawing, you hit escape, you can get out of it. So make sure you're doing the spike command, you always hit enter to exit it. Uh, if I pick on it, it kind of has its own spline edit command, which is really similar to the options within the p-edit. Uh, and one of them is to just convert it to a polyline. And it'll kind of make it into a bunch of little pieces. Um, and they do that because sometimes when you're exporting the files, other other things don't like the splines. So they want uh, either arcs or straight segments. Um, so that's kind of what that does it for. So, but what I can do here is once I pick it from here, I'm gonna kind of add points in between, just kind of like if I had a polyline. My mouse here, I can do an add a point. It's kind of like I did going through the p edit command. Uh, I don't think I showed you doing it with the grips there, but you can. Same thing here, I can go in, add a point, move something around. If I want to move it, I can just move it. I don't need to tell it that I want to stretch it. I can remove it if I wanted to. So, don't like that one, I remove it, take it away. Get to the beginning. Get a couple other options. 
So the big one here is this last one, the tangent direction. So I click that. Now I can change kind of how that polyline is starting, how that end is behaving. So I can go there. And so now if I have a horizontal line, that's tangent to it right there. So let's see, I had some weird line coming up here, but I want this polyline, the spline here, to be tangent to that. So I can just put my mouse over it, tangent direction, and then kind of snap to that endpoint. And now it kind of goes up that line and then smoothly into the spline. And then it comes over and comes out. So now I can kind of have a kind of continuous, smooth looking shape uh, for that. And so splines are really good for kind of uh, organic type shapes, but also like yard uh, stuff. So if you're doing any landscaping, that's gonna be used or, or pools uh, concrete kind of deck things that a lot of times they'll have kind of just kind of a flowy curve uh, shape and that's where the, just drawing it with uh, a, a spline would be a good option. So, all right. Um, talk to you later. Bye.